Hi everyone, it is Carol from Lily Rose Blue with Astrid. This is my next installment. I've kind of lost track of what number I am on from the estate sale that I went to on Sunday the 13th. Um, if you don't want to look at cookbooks, this video is probably not for you because that is what I'm going to be showing. Um, and I am going to kind of be going in and out here just a little bit, depending on the size of the book. Um, again, fantastic estate sale. Um, I, I just can't say enough good about it. It was such fun. Um, I had never seen, moving quickly moving on, I had never seen or neither did I know about this cookbook, Betty Crocker's Outdoor Cookbook. I love the graphics on it. You got the four seasons. Um, it is illustrated by Tom Funk, copyright 1961. So it's 62 years old. Just fun graphics. Um, I will repeat, uh, because some of you may or may not have watched any previous videos, that um, this is the first time I am looking through any of these books. I got two big flats of these cookbooks and cook booklets, um, and I just did not have any time to go through them. But, so I'm doing that now while I'm with you. So you're getting some honest feedback. Um, I would also say here that, um, that's fun. I wanted to, this is really fun. Well, it just keeps going. They're playing croquet there. Look at that vintage pot. The glads. Ooh. Look at those skewers. Ooh, that looks delicious. Um, I really just am really continuing to plug along to do the videos with the books because I have, number one, I've got to start putting things away. And number two is I need to do the videos, post them, delete them off the phone so that I have enough storage on my phone. I've got too many photos. Um, yeah, yep. Isn't this fun? I got the cow with the bean pot in the middle. Oh, baby cow. We won't. Mm, mm, sad, but but fun graphics. Ooh, a clam bake. The technique for a clam bake. We can't do clam bakes in Iowa, but I know there are some of you out there who get to do them, and I think that's fantastic. This is a super fun book. Um, again, the graphics are great. I love it. Um, for better or for worse, too many of these books are staying in my keep pile <laughs> instead of my, oh yeah, you know, we can... I can give that away or I can try to sell that. Um, some of these books that you're seeing, like this dollar sticker, the other great thing was that uh, on Sunday, everything was half price. So again, I got the big flat. Each flat of books, cookbooks or booklets were $2. This would have been 50 cents. I almost didn't pick this up. Um, it, you have to understand the Big Ten, and you have to understand Iowa, and how Iowa and Ohio, I say I can't even say it right, get confused by some people. Um, if you ask most people in the Big Ten what school they like the least, they're going to say Ohio State. <laughs> I'm sorry to any of my friends out there who live in Ohio. It, we, we just, we have issues with Ohio State. We, we just do. Anyway, 
I wasn't going to get this book because of that, but it's in perfect shape, perfect shape. It's a three ring binder. The tabs are, I mean, this just, this has not been touched. I'm guessing this was a gift and was never even opened. There was this that was inserted. Oh, it says Louise. This was dated February 6th of 96. For your use, that seafood salad you requested. I used the peach chutney and toasted coconut recipes when I served it. I used shrimp. Don't remember whether I used crab meat too. I believe I used several kinds of lettuce. Hope you enjoy it as we have. Anne Hayes. And it says from Cookery for Entertaining by Marlene Sorowski. Published um, in about 1979. And she goes, P.S. Alice Cross invited us back to Delaware for a, for a, for rug hooking, for a rug hooking session. Want to go? I have several woolens ready to go. I'd like some instructions on how to cut and prepare the fabric. So that was fun. So then this was stuck in this book. Curried seafood salad, popovers, peach chutney, chicken and shrimp, kanapali, and toasted coconut, which is what she referred to in her note here. So that was kind of fun to just to see that fun little personal message. This is uh, the Miro Magic Pressure Pan, copyright 1958. There's your pressure pan. Scare me. I do not like to use them. Sam I am. I had an air fryer and it burnt out on me in t after two months and I never replaced it. Um, my, they just, my, these are great graphics by the way. It looks like they're just about all the same. So that could be a fun, something fun to use. Um, my oldest daughter has a ninja, a ninja foodie, I think is what they call them. And um, she uses that all the time. You know, she's a busy working mom, two kids into all kinds of things. She coaches as well. They're just very busy. Um, so she uses that all the time. She bought, she and her husband gave that to my other daughter as a wedding gift. I'm not sure how much they use it. I think they use it some, um, but you know, they've kind of been after me or at least my oldest has been after me. I say after me. Um, I think she thinks I would benefit <laughs> from the food ninja and she's not wrong um i just i i just maybe i am being a little old-fashioned at this moment i don't know um but i don't even have an air fryer i don't have a food processor um i'm the food processor <laughs> right so i don't know guys i don't know i I, you know, if it, it's just my husband and I, I think if I had a family, it would be an entirely different story, you know, that I was trying to feed. I think it'd be an entirely different story. And now, in addition, it's just he and I, and I work from home. So that time that I spent driving has now become my food prep or dinner prep time. Um, so I just don't feel the pressure about getting a meal on the table like I used to which I appreciate. So this is They'll Love It, Easy Taste Treats with Sweetened Condensed Milk. This is from 1976. There you've got the little um, fondue, some chocolate fondue. 
this definitely has that 70s vibe to it with that illustration. There's some strawberries. Thick strawberry whip. Mmm, desserts. There's a cherry. That's fun. That looks delicious. Not sure what that is. Oh, this is falling apart too. Chocolate pie. Oh man. So this is fun. Oh, I like that coconut that was in there. This is It's Worth Eating. Festive Foods for Happier Holidays. Not Happy Holidays, Happier. And it is a, you guys can probably see that. It's like a flip, it's like a flip chart. You're not going to get be able to see everything. Maybe if I go a little bit like this. It gives you the idea of what's in here. I like the, the premise is cute. And we should use um, your Iowa, Illinois Gas and Electric Company. Um, should use this as a, a template, right? Then we have... Philadelphia cream cheese recipes. Lovely graphic on the front. This is also a fun little booklet. I like that. That is cute. Did I see a year? No. I did not. That is, I like that. I can't like everything, you guys. I can't keep it all. This is Bonanza, a calendar of favorite bean recipes. Also, I do not see a year on this. That's what that one looks like. We got the idea of that pretty quick. This is falling apart. M&M's party recipes made with your favorite candies. I would say, what do you think, 60s? I doubt we're going to get a year. What do you guys think? I apologize if you hear a really loud weed eater. Apparently that's my neighbor. Boy, that is loud. I just have never heard it be that loud before. This is fun. This is very fun. I love that crap. That graphic is fantastic. Um, I purchased this myself at a consignment store, so I know I have this one. Um, I do like it, but this will either be a giveaway or I'll put it in my store. Um, 10th Grand National Pillsbury Bake Off Cookbook. This is from... It's the 10th anniversary of the Bake Off. That looks like Art Link Letter. So this has got to have some age to it. I'm just not sure when. And it's actually signed by Ann Pillsbury. Oh, here we go. We hope you enjoy many hours of happy baking with the most dependable baking combinations we know. The best recipes of 1958. Pillsbury's best flour. Oh, there you go. Looks good. Gregory Patent, a second year pre med student at City College of San Francisco, learned to cook by watching television. Because his mother is employed, Greg regularly prepares dinner for the family and still finds time to work at the Alexandria Theater. Preparing to become a doctor, he plans to use his prize money towards his education. So he got junior, second, 
prize winner. Good for him. I wonder if he ended up actually being a doctor. Then we have creating, whoops, I got two here, creating magic moments, um, 23 desserts and treats for memorable holidays. Equal brand milk, uh, Keebler, Ready Crust, and Real Lemon. Uh, does not have a year. It's got some fun graphics. Ooh, look at that. Fun graphics. Oh, caramel flan. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at those cute candles. Somebody made that, and here's your pattern that you can use. Those are like with those puff paints or fabric paints. Fun. That's that one. Potatoes in popular ways. My thing about potatoes is bring them on. Probably mashed potatoes are probably my all-time favorite food. Um, hash browns, done correctly, are right up there. Um, fried potatoes or baked potatoes, I really like. The one potato that is not my... I, I like it, but it's not my favorite, um, is like al gratin potatoes. And of course, uh, we cannot forget potato chips or french fries. Don't even let me go there. So this is Potatoes in Popular Ways. Um, this came from the congressman in the 4th Iowa District. And it is a publication of the United States Department of Agriculture. This is from, issued in 1957, slightly revised in March of 19. 69. I am guessing this is 69 because it's in good shape. See, look, there's the fries. <laughs> there's the french fries. Mashed potatoes, scallop potatoes. Ooh, stuffed baked potatoes are really good. That's fun. That is fun. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Back in the back, it says 69. Oven cooking guide and recipes. And this is 1964. Harper Wyman Company. So that's that book. Yeah, it's okay. I kind of like the color of the paper. It's nothing. This one isn't. Yeah. I like it. I don't maybe love it. That's okay. Pizzeria. Recipes for the Calphalon 14-inch pizza pan. There you go. That would make cool ephemera. Here we go. Cheese. 20 delicious recipes. Fun graphics. Oh, I don't think it's meant. Oh, it is. Look at this fun fold out. Isn't that adorable? That is cute. That is super cute. Again, a fun thing for us to, to remember to do. Favorite American Recipes, a collection of classics from around the country. Food and Nutrition Service, New, the United States Department of Agriculture. I think um, that Miss Ler Mrs. LaRue here wrote or was on all kinds of mailing lists for this kind of thing. That's why she has so much of this stuff. This is from uh, 1974. The, the paper is... Mm. No, you know what? The paper's different. This paper is super slick. This is not. So that's interesting. 
So that is that book. Those are, you know, would be fun um, um, section headers in a, in a cookbook junk journal. The Skillet Cookbook. I'm going to do this one and then end this video so that they just don't get too long. Um, the First Complete Guide to Glamorous Skillet Cooking. Oh my goodness. Glamorous Skillet Cooking. These are fun graphics. And the orientation is fun, right? It's, it's a horizontal versus a vertical. Look at those cute salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> that's fun. All right, that's what that book looks like. Oh, that's cute. I love an electric skillet. I talked about that at, on a previous video. And with that, Astrid and I say thank you for watching. Um, there'll be at least one more video with cookbooks. <laughs> All I can do now is laugh, guys. What else can I do, right? I hope you're enjoying this. If not, that's okay. It doesn't have to be your cup of tea. Um, with this, though, I would love to tell you to please be happy, healthy, and safe. Take care of yourself, and you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.